just look at that swirly magic. Yep, that is the Dust Sniper, and I'm going to run you through some of its key features. Two swirl tubes, two cyclones, and two collection barrels, so the material can be kept separate. A nice solid workbench that can also be wheeled around the workshop. Okay, so these two switches control whether which of the vacuums is going. So we'll just start with this one. Put it on manually. Okay, so quite loud. Just putting them inside that box reduces the volume quite a lot. Um, okay, so I'm just going to close it up now and show you how loud they are then. Both, um, both doors quite tight fitting. Seal on the back as you can see. Okay, here we go again. This is both of them running now with the doors shut <laughs> and the trip switch is tripped. Excellent. Okay, here we go again. This is with um, I'll do one of them running, then both of them running. Okay, go the door shut, so that's a lot quieter. You probably noticed the only real noise is the, the sucking coming through there. And both of them on, hardly any louder really. Okay, just for comparison, here is Mighty Electric Toothbrush running. Okay, my Electric Toothbrush running. Sniper running. I'd say it's probably like, well, it's a different noise, but I don't think it's much, it's not much louder than the toothbrush. Okay, so you can barely hear it now, which is nice. So here we are, we've got the, the bandsaw, it's plugged in to the dust sniper here at the outlet. We've got the correct hose selected. The hose is going into the bandsaw there. Okay, so I'm not actually going to cut anything, I'll just turn it on. Okay, so it's here. Turn it off again. The dust sniper stays on for a few seconds to clear the hose of all the dust and things and then automatically turns off. Uh, that funny noise was the bands will break. Uh, so that's about it. Hope you enjoyed. So all the instructions for the dust sniper, um, loads of details of how, how it was built, how you can build one, can all be found um, on the Instructable. And I couldn't go without showing you one or two clips of the cyclones in action. So here we go. Yeah, I think that's probably enough for you.